going there as well. Yeah. How deep are we now? We are 60 feet below the surface. Through frozen ground, a tunnel back in time to when the earth last warmed up and the ice melted. The ceilings bristle with ancient plants and along the walls, the bones of extinct mastodon and bison. Once this part of Alaska was a fertile plain before the glaciers rolled in tens of thousands of years ago. As you can see, we've got a very big ice wedge right here on the left and over here. While other scientists come to see fossils, soil and ice formed long ago when temperatures fluctuated, Kevin Biela studies engineering issues for the United States military and how to plan for the effects of melting permafrost. If we can tease out that information that says what was the temperature prior to one of these climate horizons that we see either vegetation or the ice emplacement, we would have really good information for the climatologists the climate modelers that are working on that, that issue right now. Work on a much larger tunnel has begun. Research here is aimed at helping Alaskan people and communities cope with something they've already begun to notice, how melting permafrost causes homes and roads to sag, and how it's probably going to get worse. The idea is not to scare anybody. It's not to uh, set, a, you know, set out this, this notion that everything's thawing and we need to stop burning gasoline. That's not what we're talking about. We're just talking about trying to anticipate changes. There's real alarm among scientists. Permafrost is warming rapidly. Even worse, a huge amount of carbon is trapped in the frozen ground, those plants and animal bones, and that will be released into the atmosphere as it thaws. Warmer climate, there will be more permafrost thawing, producing more greenhouse gases, increasing uh, this greenhouse effect, which will increase temperature again and increased temperature will uh, throw more permafrost. When the Trans-Alaska Pipeline was opened in 1977, no one expected a changing climate, but they put the pipe on stilts to meet environmental regulations protecting the tundra and forest. So the way this pipeline is constructed, that prevents permafrost from melting locally, but it's what's inside the pipe, crude oil, and its consumption. The impact of that on the world's permanently frozen ground, those are the much larger issues that government, scientists, and the planet have to consider. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, outside Fairbanks, Alaska.